Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you are in the world. I am Keith, and I'm here with a new video for you guys. So today, I've got the uh, Rainbow High Series 4 Lila Yamamoto, or as one of my girlies would say it, Lila Yamamoto. <laughs> but uh, today, uh, I'm reviewing her. So as everyone knows, she was embroiled in the controversy of her not be not being the right cultures then mga tried to messily cover it up by saying she's mixed race which is you know whatever 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 we're gonna brush over that because we finally are reviewing her i think she's pretty cute i'm probably gonna keep her in like this or some variation of this because i don't i don't know something about that is off something about that is off but anyway so here she is uh just like with all classic rainbow boxes, her name is going to be at the top corner. And then this is a little side piece of artwork of all the girls in the series. Second outfit here. And we turn it around. Boom. Here is the artwork for the back. It says, Rainbow High, where creative students with style use glam, grit, love, action, and moxie to make their fashion performing arts dreams come true so that's cool um i unboxed miss coco last week i'm unboxing her this week do i have any of the other girls stay tuned to find out But anyways, so let me get her out of the box and then we can get into like a cute little review of her. All right, here is Miss Leela. I'm excited, she looks pretty cute. Um, I guess let's get into her face. Or actually let's start with her hair. So as you can see, or there we go, that's a little bit better. Let's turn this more so towards me. That way you get a better look. Okay, so as you can see, she has pretty much this uh, really interesting, like, desaturated, like, brownish blonde color. It's a really pretty color. Um, she has that, uh, this grape color, and also lavender mixed in her hair for her hair. And it's split into pigtails that are braided um, and tied off with ribbons. She's got some little sack of the flower, uh, earrings with some chains hanging down um r and h on each side and her makeup and her eyes are very cool and interesting so she has a uh, cut brows um where it's basically her brows end at her arches and she has this really pretty makeup where it is um some periwinkle graphic liner on top of some uh I wouldn't call this lavender. It's like a warm, it's a really warm lavender. I can't put a finger on the actual name of the color, but a really warm lavender uh, makeup under it. She has a little uh, stickers and stuff all over her face with a Band-Aid on top. Um, my Band-Aid is slightly misprinted, but it's not too much to make me bothered. I do have the glitter lip variant. This is the same. I got this on first release. Um, and she looks pretty cute. Now, her top, it's very nice. It's like this satiny feel. It's a satin top, basically, with that uh, rainbow pattern on top of it. I really cannot remember what the brand is that this is supposed to mimic. It's on the tip of my tongue, and I still cannot remember it, and I hate it. Every time I see it, I'm just like, oh my god, I know what this is supposed to be, but I can't remember. But it has all these really pretty uh, lavender trims all over it, and then it has uh, metallic silver uh, hardware um, details all over it, and I like that. That's really pretty. Moving down, we have her skirt. It's more of like a plum purple. Um, I need to use Google Translate to figure out what that says. Um, but this skirt also has a zipper. Um, it's an asymmetrical zipper on one side with a, 
uh, studs being going all the way around it. So that looks nice. Um, here are her shoes, which are pretty cool. She has these socks. And surprisingly, I hate Crocs, but this, I love it. I absolutely love this, even though I hate Crocs. That's crazy. But yeah, here, um, here on her Crocs, she has spikes on the top. She has spikes on the top of her Crocs with another thing right here. And then all of these uh, different giblets. And then I don't know what that says either. So I need to figure out what that says, what that says. And I think that that just says RH. But yeah. She is pretty cute. I actually like her. Um, I knew I wanted her and I knew I liked her before, like when I first saw her, but I was just like, mm, the controversy might take a little bit away, but it doesn't. I still like her as much as I did when I first saw her. Um, so here are her gloves. She comes with these really nice uh, leather gloves with some uh, silver hardware on them and more of a plum painted nail. I can't remember if her color scheme is plum or if it's just lavender because to me, she's more of like a plum doll, not lavender even though her top is lavender. This fits more on the plum. I even like, I like her little dangly chain too. So let me get her swapped out into her second outfit and then I'll get right back to you guys. While I was undressing her, I did forget to show that her uh, top and her like bottom piece right here are two just separate pieces. I was gonna call this a cummerbund, but that's not what this is, something else. But yeah. Um, and also, she does have uh, removable feet. She has flat feet. So, you'll see that going into her um, actual, you know, showcase of her second outfit. Also, I just wanted to showcase the inside of that. Look at that. That is so cool. That's so pretty. I love it. And it looks really nice on the outside. All right. So, here is Miss Girl in her little second outfit. She looks so cute in this um so first of all here she is uh in the flat foot uh shoes i am personally going to keep the shoes on to these feet that way i don't have to worry about um my tying and messing that piece up so whenever i do change her um i'm just gonna switch out her you know legs and stuff and surprisingly for her legs Switching these up was a lot smoother and easier than it was for the Pacific Coast dolls. I feel like there was a lot less stress when it came to uh, switching out her legs and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. There, there aren't any uh, white marks at all on her legs. So that's good. She does have like a couple spots on her legs and she has some dimples on her thighs along with that. Thing, but I don't really mind that. It's not too much that I can notice that I'm fine with the dimples. Kind of looks more realistic <laughs> for a stylized doll. But um, here's her top. Uh, that inside of that top looks absolutely gorgeous, as well as the outside. The fabric that they use and the patterns all over this are it's just so beautiful. Um, I think these might are supposed to be sakura flowers. I can't tell exactly what the flowers are, but they're flowers. Um, and then on the front of her little uh, piece right here, there's a sakura flower with this, uh, like a, a muted lavender uh, tassel with more sakura flower charms at the bottom. And then it's a big plum bow. Um, it's like one big plum a uh, piece right here. I don't want to call it a belt because it's not a belt. And then a bow at the back. Um, this part is the part where they stylize to where it's not more realistic. This is Chinese. This part right here is Japanese. Um, but this is the bottom part of the skirt. It's pretty much the exact same skirt that Karma came with, but just in uh, plum. Yeah, I'll call that plum, not lavender. But just in plum. So here are her shoes, and here she is sliding out of them already. Oops, sliding in. 
there are these really pretty uh there are these really pretty sandals where she has sacred flowers all at the bottom with these beautiful leaves also going around them they're just really pretty she has a sacred flower on the uh i don't even know what you call that the part where it holds the, your foot in that part and then she has plum ribbons that wrap her feet all the way in these shoes i think she's cute this is it's a really cute outfit like if i just take it as you know no culture being all messed up and all that stuff into play and just treat her as a character that was intentionally supposed to be uh mixed race and stuff like that she is so pretty she is so adorable like i really like her um even just if somebody just wants to get her for her like head and like face and some of her pieces and stuff i would highly suggest it i highly recommend this doll she's just so pretty she's so pretty to me i feel like she's very much i don't know something about her it just makes me very very happy and excited so i highly recommend her to anyone um I noticed that I have not told anyone to like, comment, and subscribe. So please, please make sure you're subscribed. Check, uh, check the bell notifications. Uh, like this video. Make sure you uh, share it with someone. Even if you want to share it with somebody, uh, just to say you hate it, please do so. Um, yeah, subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great night, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are in the world. And bye.